All right, it's been requested I make a tutorial on how to make uh, differentials. So I'm going to make this one real quick. All right, start by spawning. It doesn't even have to be a large bevel gear. It could just be any gear. So pick one. That's huge. Hold on. That'll do just fine. Spawn a large gear box cube. It really is irrelevant unless you're going to do something else with it. Then pick one of the bevels. I'm going to use the smallest. And I'm going to easy precision this with a axis gap of 0.3. And no collide targets can be off at that distance. something else. All right, so now we have one gear. Spawn the same bevel gear again. Rotate it. Now you have to manually place this gear in line with that, which should be unfrozen. Is this unfrozen? Look at the profile, see if, see if that lines up. Actually, isn't bad. You don't want the gear to have moved. If it, if it pushes down like that, it's going to be screwed up. So just sort of work it in there. I just hit snap and it didn't move, so that's good. Uh, now take out the standard axis tool, right click the big prop, right click this. That's one piece of this. Now we're not going to do that again, that would be retarded. We're just going to spawn a prop, any prop, I don't care. Do the same remote access tool. Right click, right click. We're going to stack this up. Where the hell's up? Up. Okay, we're going to stack this down. Down. Well, no collide. All that can be removed. Except for freeze. Freeze you leave on. Crap it welded. Alright, now that we're completely reversed, go back to stacker. Reverse it. Now we stack up the same gap. That's in the exact same position the other one was. Again, access tool. Done. At this point, I'm going to reweight these props. 800 should be fine. Alright, now the less easy part is stackering this backwards. See the gear out there? We're going to reverse it 180 degrees. And we're going to try to figure out how to make it come in. This is going to take some trial and error. A little too bouncy with that one. That actually looks good. I'm going to access that. Right click. Right click. Weight tool. This properties, super ice, no grab. I usually no grab all the gears I use. And there's a differential. You would attach, for example, a wheel to one end and a wheel to the other. I can remove the axis from this because I'm done spinning that prop around. Do a quick, quick example. Hold on. Freeze that. Remote uh, easy precision axis again. I'm going to weld those two together. Remove this one that's on top. Remove that. So what a differential will do now, if I put wheels on this, 
but very big wheels on this. I'm going to reweight them, that's number one, because everything weighs a million pounds on this. And I'm going to weld this wheel to this gear and this gear to this wheel. So now, I unfreeze everything. That's how a differential works in a car. If it's a non lock up differential. Spin this green gear, both wheels should spin at the same time. But if one wheel should stop, you still have one wheel spinning, although it'll be it twice as fast. Yes, a locking differential would just simply attach this gear to this gear and it would force both wheels to spin at the same time. Now as you can see, you spin the green gear, both wheels spin forward. Should one wheel come to a stop, and you spin the green gear, the other wheel will still spin. This is not the main purpose of a differential. The main purpose of a differential is so that if you're making a turn in a vehicle, the outside of the car, if you're making a left, the right side, can spin more than the left side without things breaking. And it will work in Gary's mod, just I would not push this to more than uh, 25 miles an hour. Or so. You'll lag the crap out of everything. There's a lot of collisions going on. And now uh, that's your basic differential. Uh, shit, I forgot my tagline. Build some cool shit. Goodbye.